They're at the post. And there they go. Pretty good start for all civil service and shanty shack are showing pace. Bar 14 from the top shelf wants to be part of the leader line. Doc Advantage broke pretty good this afternoon. He's currently in fourth. Brew Pub has the fifth spot, and ASAP Restoration is the last of all. Shanty Shack with his inside post says, Thank you very much. I'll pick up the pace. Bar 14 is second. Brew Pub joins Civil Service for third and fourth, and right there with them, Doc Advantage three deep. And ASAP Restoration's a little less than six lengths from the front. And Shanty Shack has the lead. A 24 and 2 opening quarter. Works with two lengths at the 5 8 In the second spot is Bar 14. Brew Pub's traveling well enough along the rail. There goes Doc Advantage, 3 deep, making a middle move into third. Civil Service bides his time. He's in the fifth spot. A little less than four off the lead. More than a length back to ASAP Restoration. 49 and 3. So Cruzy was able to nurse that second quarter to a 25 and 1. And that bodes well for Shanty Shack heading into the turn. He still works with better than two. In fact, let's call it two and a half. Bar 14 is second. Dock advantage third. Brew Pub's under a little bit of a ride from the inside. Civil service up and down, not really picking up his stride to this point. And at the tail of the field is ASAP Restoration. A good flow for Shanty Shack. Can he see it through? Bar 14. 14 pursues. Brew Pub continues with his charge. Doc Advantage is trying to hit his best stride, but Shanty Shack still has the lead at the eighth pole. Brew Pub could be the late threat along the rail. He's closing in gradually. Shanty Shack needs a 16th. Brew Pub's gonna kinda gonna try to tag him late, but Shanty Shack has gone wire to wire in the Wednesday opener. Six trifecta, $102.62. 10 cent super, 2165, $79.95. Second race, five and seven. And there they go. Good start for Father Walsh. Hey, it's Enrico Palazzo. Victory built. Three gun for the top spot. Devil or Angel strides into the fourth position. He races outside of Miami Chrome. Smoking alone from far off the pace this afternoon. Father Walsh has the lead. Hey, it's Enrico Palazzo is pressing and victory built is pushing, but Father Walsh is quickest. Break of nearly a four lengths to Devil or Angel, then Miami Chrome, and nothing yet from a smoke and a load, 22 and two fists for Father Walsh. Father Walsh aggressively handled, sent to the front immediately, leads by more than a length at the quarter pole. Now Miami Chrome's beginning a nice run up the rail. He's fourth, but he's the one that's closing in. And he could be the threat to Father Walsh. Father Walsh has the lead. A big rail opening for Miami Chrome. Here comes Miami Chrome up the inside to tackle Father Walsh. Miami Chrome's up to the front. Father Walsh is second. Devil or Angel putting in a late charge to the far outside. But here is Miami Chrome, his seventh career score. Devil or Angel finishes nicely for second. Father Walsh, for exacta, $82.243, a trifecta, $49.87, a 10 cent super, two four three eight twenty four dollars seven cents. Third race will start the pick six. And there they go. Stumbling start, alert fortune. Wait a minute, and Tivoli Gardens begin the best. And Holiday Jazz is third, and alert fortune, who likes to be forwardly positioned, will have to overcome the stumbling start. So Tivoli Gardens will make the pace, and she has the advantage at the 7 eights from wait a minute. Here's the Lure Fortune who's trying to rush up, a little rank through the early stages. Maybe not so much rank, just throwing her head just a little bit. She likes to be up near the lead, and from the far outside is Holiday Jazz. So it is Tivoli Gardens with a length advantage to wait a minute. Tivoli Gardens and Louis Perez. Wait a minute, turns up the pressure, heading into the backstretch under Andre Worry. Alert Fortune and Jose Baez from the inside and Holiday Jazz and Emmanuel Di Diego from the far outside. It's about two lengths from first to last. Tivoli Gardens went 24 seconds for the opening quarter. Leads by a length to wait a minute. Alert Fortune and Holiday Jazz and look at the quartet. They stack up across the track. 48 and three fifths. Tivoli Gardens. From the outside is Holiday Jazz and Allure Fortune. And wait a minute, comes under pressure heading into the turn. Tivoli Gardens, the one to beat at the 3 8. She opens up nearly two. Holiday Jazz is second. From the inside is Allure Fortune. And poor Wait a minute has never found the form from her two and three year old campaigns. It's Tivoli Gardens, the leader at the quarter pole, and she opens up. Tivoli Gardens in complete command from Holiday Jazz and Allure Fortune. They're at the 316th, and Tivoli Gardens has a big healthy lead. 
And she is on her way to the winner's circle. Just needs one more final furlong to get to the wire. She is well clear. Holiday Jazz is second. And in third is Allure Fortune. Tivoli Gardens, the Diamond Man's heating up here in the late stages of the 2023 season. Good looking winner, Tivoli Gardens, then Holiday Jazz and Allure. And race three is official. A 143, the 21 double, $19. A 14 exact, the $12.40. They pick five. And there they go. Sweet Sugar Baby and Lady Yellen show pace. And Tasty Wave is forwardly positioned along the inside. Looks like she's going to be the quickest. There's Tasty Wave up to the front. Lady Yellen second, then Sweet Sugar Baby wine trail. And from her outside is free shot. Jackie Be Good comes away running in six, seven lengths off the lead. From the inside is Yes, Your Honor. The last two are Quiet Horizon and Royal Jubilee. And Tasty Wave has the lead, and Lady Yellen's applying plenty of pressure. A nice tracking trip for Sweet Sugar Baby, and she's beginning her move. Here's Lady Yellen right alongside of Tasty Wave. Lady Yellen puts her head in front. Tasty Wave's back to second, and third is Sweet Sugar Baby. The others have a lot of work to do. Free shot and wine trail followed by Jackie Be Good. Tasty Wave right back at Lady Yellen. They're hooked up in a big time battle. Tasty Wave has the lead at the 368. Lady Yellen's giving way just a bit. Tasty Wave coming clear a little bit at the eighth pole. Lady Yellen still fighting then. Sweet Sugar Baby. Tasty Wave and Lady Yellen. Tasty Wave. All I need are some Tasty Waves, a cool buzz, and I'm fine. Tasty Wave in front. 395 trifecta, $18. 10 cent super, 3958, $10.30. 213 early, pick three, $12.25. And there they go. Boston Roxy and Roller of the Night begin quickly and Funny Howl's up close from third. Devilly's in the fourth spot. Then Puzzle from the Royal Star Speaker tumbles from between runners. Boston Roxy quicker than Ruler of the Night, clearing away two and a half. From the outside is Funny How. She races with Devilly. Star Speakers in the fifth position, more than five lengths off the lead, flanked by Puzzle, who begins her move. At the back of the pack is Tumbles. 22 and three fifths from Bustin' Roxy, who has the lead. Devilly's cutting into the margin. Funny How's all in past the three eights. Ruler of the Night has the fourth spot. Puzzle continues to improve her position. Star Speaker needs to go, and closing in is Tumbles. Bustin' Roxy and Devilly. Devilly comes a calling outside of Bustin' Roxy. Bustin' Roxy and Devilly. Now Tumbles is trying to make a move into third from between runners. Then Puzzle, far outside Star Speaker. Bustin' Roxy still with the lead. Tumbles is the late threat. Tumbles has a good stride. And here she comes after Bustin' Roxy. Tumbles with momentum. Here comes Tumbles to the outside. The Diamond Man, Louis Perez and Fuego. Another one for Julius Ashley. And well, and here are the prices for the fifth race. Officially three, four, five, one, the double three, three. That's a Wallamia Samad and Julius Ashley double, $24.60. Ready for the race. And there they go. Bad connection flies away from the rail and she tries to work away from the inside. Princess Sonia showing pace. Also there, Motley Sue. So there is pace on. Bad connection, Princess Sonia, Motley Sue. One flashy girl and Bonfire Diva also forwardly positioned. Good trip for Subtle Giant midfield. Six lengths to run into. Break of better than three to Central Capital. More than three and a half to Unbridled Drain. 23 seconds from Bad Connection. Princess Sonia, she's one to four on the board and she's waiting on deck, ready to, uh, ready to assert her authority. Here she comes with her nice run. Bonfire Diva and one flashy girl are third and fourth. Motley Sue's backpedaling. Subtle Giant hasn't kicked it into high gear yet. Central Capital's picking up a nice stride here. Central Capital along the rail. She's getting within seven. She could be heard from in the final quarter of a mile. Bad Connection has turned away Princess Sonia. Here's Bonfire Diva. And her Central Capital continuing her run along the rail. Here comes Central Capital with momentum along the inside. Bad Connection. Central Capital's coming for all the money up the rail. Here's Central Capital. Central Capital and Jackie Davis get it done for the double three nine three hundred twenty two dollars the nine one exact is huge eleven hundred twenty nine dollars the tri feature and there they go 
Ladies, Golden Guy is showing good zip from the far outside. Here's Disco Dino showing pace along the inside. Ladies, Golden Guy will cross over. Disco Dino's going to get to the outside. Banyan Breeze is along the rail. Riders Regret has a clear position from fourth, and he is two and a half off the lead. Almost three and a half lengths to Gage Town. Another two to don't poke the cat into lure of money. Ladies, Golden Guy with the killer crossover, 22 and one fifth from Disco Dino from the outside and Riders Regret. And Banyan Breeze is in the battle from fourth. And now here's Banyan Breeze making a sharp move from the rail. Banyan Breeze, Ladies, Golden Guy and Riders Regret. Disco Dino gives way just a bit. He's back to fourth. It's a break of nearly five lengths to Gage Town. Allure of Money's trying to pick up his best stride. And don't poke the cats at the back. Banyan Breeze. Riders Regrets running a big one. Riders Regret and Banyan Breeze. And Ladies Golden Guy fights on from between runners. Riders Regret at the 16th. Banyan Breeze along the inside. Banyan Breeze and Riders Regret. Banyan Breeze and Riders Regret. Riders Regret. Riders Regret from Banyan Breeze. 7 8. The double nine six five hundred thirty nine dollars. The six one exact to one hundred eighty three dollars. The trifecta six one seven one hundred six eight cap. And there they go. Oliver with a twist is showing pace. Make it in New York is there. Moon Hunter fires into the fray. Lorenzen races inside of Trisatum. Eight weeks long advances. He is fourth last racing with Bert. 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 From the inside is Seed Tiger and over the cap, a late runner is the last of all. Oliver with a twist, a link to Moon Hunter, Lorenzen's three wide, Trace Adams four deep. Break of more than four lengths to make it in New York, Burt, 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 and eight weeks long from between runners. Break of better than three to Seed Tiger, two and a half to over the cap. Let's just forget about that opening quarter. It's not a quarter horse race with the lead, Oliver with a twist. From his outside, Moon Hunter. Also there, races Lorenzen three wide, and Trisatum gets the worst of it, stuck out there in La La Land. Eight weeks long, and Burt, Burt, Burt's inching closer, Black Silks. Make it in New York, six lengths to find, two clear of Sea Tiger, two and a half to over the cap, and look at Cappy at the back. Cappy's really picking up his stride, heading into the turn. And it still is Oliver with a twist at 57 to 1. Oliver's brave. Moon Hunter is second. I'm going to keep my eye on over the cap and see Tiger. They're really rolling in together. Oliver with a twist. Bert, Bert, Bert. Here comes over the cap and see Tiger. Oliver with the twist trying to post this huge upset. Over the cap's going to try to come and get him late to the far outside. Oliver with a twist. Over the cap. Bert, 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 Oliver with a twist. He's almost home. Alicia screaming her head off for Oliver with a twist, and he's going to get it done. Oliver with a twist at 57 to 1 in the nightcap. Six eight late double nine hundred thirty nine dollars eight ten exacta from the nightcap nine hundred thirty one dollars eight ten six trifecta one thousand ninety three dollars the ten cent super eight ten six one seventeen hundred thirty five dollars thirty cents how about the late pick three nine six eight five thousand three hundred eighty one dollars and twenty five cents a fifty cent pick three fifty three hundred dollars plus. Not all combinations were covered in our pick four, Dave Reed. Three out of four gets you $409.75. Nobody with six or five in the pick six. Four out of six, $201.25. There's that carryover, $1,811.88. And obviously, we do have that pick five carryover. Wish we had a graphic for that one. $19,129.54. Nobody with the pick five, so we have a nice carryover into Monday, closing week, $19,129.54. Pick six carryover better than $1,800. How about that payoff? Huh? We had a $133 winner yesterday, a $116 winner, Oliver with a twist. Just three days left here at Finger Lakes Gaming and Racetrack. The big